Hi, my name's Steve Harrison. I'm lecturer in uh, business um, at Hastings College, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about business studies this morning, um, introducing myself. And so what you can see on screen at the moment is a little bit about us, the team. Well, it's actually just me on there and the head of sixth form, uh, Chantal. So I'm a business teacher. Uh, you might see me if you're doing accounting or even geography as well. I've been teaching for a long while, as it says there, and I've also been writing exam papers for this subject for many years and been chief examiner for the last 18 years. So it's me you can blame for a lot of those things, especially the papers when you get in front of them. I've written all sorts. Okay, where you're studying, in case you haven't been there and haven't seen it, you should have on your screen now some images of the college. We've got this fantastic building and you can see on the bottom image there, we've got all the floors, there are five floors there, um, lots going on. Um, we'll be on the third floor, so a few stairs to climb every day, but we have lots of facilities. So we have a nice classroom, with computers all around the edge. Um, we also have a big learning centre that has lots of lots of materials. And I say that because a lot of what we we'll use on the course is using the journals and the books and the computers that are actually in the learning centre. So that's quite an important room for you as part of the college. Course entry criteria. Well, it's pretty much your standard um, entry criteria. The only thing we ask is that you are confident in maths. Um, we're asking that, as it says, GCSE 5 um, or C in English and maths. You've got to be confident with both writing and you've got to be confident with numbers. You haven't got to be a brilliant mathematician, but you've got to be confident with numbers. You, you need to know how to convert things into percentages and from percentages into ratios. So we need that level of maths confidence for you. Otherwise, you, you may find it challenging. So let's hope you get good GCSE results and you can move forward and join us. And what are you going to study? Well, I've got here a list of all the modules you'll study. And you can see that if you've done business before, a lot of those will look familiar. We're looking at what is business, decision making, the different elements of business. So we'll look at marketing and leadership and management and finance and operations. Now, when you look at that, it can be a bit dull. But what happens really with business is that we look at what's really going on in the business world. So we're looking at what's going on currently, what's in the news, what's all around us, because everything is business. Everywhere you work, the college you'll be in, it's a business. We're all businesses. When you go down to the coffee shops, to the gym, to the railway station, they're all businesses. And we have to look at those and how they work and how they operate. And ultimately, we're looking at, through all the different elements and looking at how we can improve different aspects of it. So it becomes really quite interesting. And if you look at the news at the moment, you look at the big companies, big headline firms, especially in retail, that are out there that are in trouble as a result of the coronavirus and the lack of customers. They're in trouble financially. So we look at the reasons behind that. How can those companies best improve? And so you have to start looking at case studies, you look at the news, you look at articles that are written, you listen to the news. We watch, um, we watch videos and we watch, watch case study videos on different businesses, all sorts of businesses. Everything from the very small one-man operation, which I've worked and, and run myself, to the very large operations. And I've worked there for, uh, for companies with 50 plus million turnovers. So I've got a lot of experience to bring to that uh, from working within industry, and you're going to learn a lot about it through case studies 
and your own experiences. There's lots of you that you can bring to this course when you're looking at your own experience. So yes, we've got two years of uh, units to do, two years worth of modules to do, looking at lots of decision making and how businesses operate. How are you going to study? Um, well, we study, like I've already said to you, we use a lot of case study material. You've got theories to put in there, but we look at it in reality. It's a real subject. It's one of those subjects that combines lots of elements of different courses. So you're going to do some accounting in there. You're going to do a little bit of economics in there. You're going to do a little bit of law, psychology, even some geography will be thrown in at times when we do some international business and international strategies and uh, looking at what's happening between uh, trade with the US or China. So there's a certain element in there. And where do we study? Well, I've said about our space. A lot of time though is going to be you having to study independently, looking through case studies, answering questions based on case studies and asking questions, not just answering them, but asking questions of information that you see in the case studies. So that makes it far more interesting, more exciting subject to study. Now, what can you do after your course? Well, the roots from it are unending. It is one of those interdisciplinary subjects. So you can go and study almost anything afterwards. Typically students that we have go on to university, they'll study a whole range of courses from taking different aspects and, and this year we've had those going on to study accountancy, going on to study marketing, um, going on to study economics or a completely different subject altogether. They might go on to study sociology, English, I can think of, uh, psychology, I can think of. So students go on to do all sorts of different things uh, in different subjects. So it won't restrict you to what you do. You don't have to go into business, but you might want to take those opportunities, lots of opportunities out there because of those skills you've learned um, through engaging with that wider business, that wider business understanding. And let's face it, it doesn't matter whether you're going down to work on a Saturday at Primark or McDonald's, you're, or you're working for an international finance house in central London, you're in a business. It's all there, it's business in whatever form it is, um, as my business experiences will tell you, as I'm sure I will tell you about as we go through. Okay, what do students think of it? Pretty much as I've been saying, transferable skills are learnt, a uh, huge focus on teaching you to think critically, innovatively, um, engaging lessons through case studies, through real material. And we don't use case studies often that are made up, we use real materials. So we might use Marks and Spencers, we might use Ford, we might use um, Apple, which we often use. So the students are saying like that. Um, what's student life like? Well, student life is student life. You're going to be in working. Obviously, it's very different. We're going in a new way when we go back in September, but you will have a difference to school. You won't have lessons um, every hour of every day. You'll be expected to study during those other times. Okay, additional costs. I just picked this one in before some questions. There is a textbook and up there I've put the textbook. Uh, we're doing the AQA syllabus. There's one textbook that covers both years. It's cheaper to buy the two year book and you can buy that for £35. It's that one there. It's by Ian Marcuse, very senior examiner in the business world. And you'll need a calculator. Please not think you can get away with just your phone, you just need a basic calculator. Okay, now we're going to go over and do some questions and I'll take any questions that are running. Okay, I can see a question coming in here from Matt. What other subjects go well with business? Well, really anything. I mean, students do, if I take 
typical students they might do economics with business a lot of students that i have doing uh, both economics geography uh, with business i have students doing english uh, you could do accounting which is a new subject which i'm going to present on in a moment because i'm teaching that one so you could do accounting with it so pretty much anything goes with business Okay, Toby, do we have practical exams like presentations? No, you don't. You have three written papers, three two-hour written papers. So no coursework, no practical exams. From Pierre, are there any business trips? Well, in the current climate, I'm not sure about that. Normally, we would try and do some business trips to look at some business. But in the current climate, I wouldn't like to say what we'll do on that one. How many students from Matt, how many students normally in a class? Around about 20 is what we normally have in a business class, around that number. What kind of equipment do I need? Do I need a laptop or a table, a tablet, I guess you mean there? Useful, useful in that some students come in and use them all the time. Some students type up notes if they're good at typing on laptops. You will have access in the LRC, but a laptop is useful. Other than that, a calculator is fine. Toby, if we slightly miss our maths GCSE, can we still join? You would find it without a, if you don't have at least a four, if your English is okay, you would find it a real struggle uh, to do it without maths especially when we get onto accounting and accounting ratios, you find that very difficult. Will I be in college every day? Uh, probably not, um, but possibly. I haven't seen a timetable yet. Everybody's timetable will be different. Uh, there'll be a number of blocks during the week. You will choose three subjects from three blocks. And so it depends on when those subjects will run. So I couldn't say that you may be. Okay, if anybody's got any more questions, then please go to the East Sussex website and you can um, put in your questions there. We'll answer them at any point.